Hey everyone, it's been so long, it's been like way too long, like the FNAF song, just school and stuff, and I've not really been kind of motivated to do much other than school, so, well, with that, I decided to do another one of those drawing videos where I just show you a drawing, because speed paint, I don't know when that's going to happen, so yeah. Alright, so I made this drawing like a couple weeks ago, like a week or two, and it's a, I basically took my, because I remember on Instagram I posted this old sketch of like this uh, new Lancia Delta Integrale in, back in like 2019, so I decided to do it like a little bit of a modernization and kind of just a whole remaster. So here's the original, of course. I wanted to keep it new because I noticed a lot of the new designs people made. I like them a lot and all, but there are a lot of like re kind of rehashing this look and there's nothing wrong with that, but I wanted to do something totally new while still like respecting the old car because I mean, knowing Lancia and the new Deltas, they're, yeah, they're, they're not good anymore. <laughs> But, because the, the new ones are like egg-shaped and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So here's a bit of a closer look. There's like an eight-spoke wheel design. No, turbine. And I gave it that angel eye look. Because on the old one, it's very like closed off. Like a M3 where it's like the grill surrounds the headlights. And then there's the main grill. I kind of carried that over with this kind of LED wraparound and then the dual headlights like on the original. Those have the LEDs in them and the projector beam. So this is the North American spec Ontario plate because I'm from Ontario, Canada. Delta. Front side marker light, rear side marker light and reflector and then the reflector because that dot, I do that to represent the light. Um, and I say that because are, those are required here on every car built for sale here in Canada and the U.S. after 1968, or in 1968 and onward. So instead of like a slatted grill on the hood and these, I gave it like gills that are cut out of the side. And then the kind of a air extractor. Or a heat extractor. And for this little trim piece up here, I didn't really give it that surround like it does where it goes all the way around. I just kept it simple. Kind of looks like a Vox hull. In fact, this whole thing I feel like kind of looks like a Mark 8 GTI with the way it's kind of very angled downward at the front. So since this thing is called the Delta, actually, we have a triangle theme there. And then, where are some other triangles? The grill mesh. And in the seats, there's supposed to be a triangle logo. And the indicator, because in Europe, and this car is European, of course, you have to have an indicator on the side, from what I remember. So, you can put it on the mirror. I gave it those iconic, iconic, like, uh, gills here, it's kind of bloomy, but instead of like a separate panel, of course, it's like, like embossed into it. So here, you know, there's not too much design elements, kind of like a lower grill, and here it's smaller here, and then it's bigger here. I kind of reversed that. It's smaller on the top, bigger at the bottom. And there's like a little plastic piece, or little, kind of like a, the, after the GD generation, so like 2008 and onward, um, WRXs, those had this plastic piece. Uh, two layers, so I guess that's a turn signal maybe? I don't know, but that's like a fog light. So turn signal, fog light, kind of integrated them together. 
and all this wide body of course that's exclusive to the integrale uh yeah i mean kind of yeah I, I did want to keep that because this kind of reminds me of a type r the way it, it's like cut off here it like st stops abruptly i kept that i added this kind of maybe it's brake cooling where cold air goes in here and then comes out like that and also because due to the nature of the design of this this would be like straight and then on the top it kind of goes straight but then outward to kind of go flush with that i exaggerated that and kept with the triangle theme like that um i guess because it's the integrale and has the wide body instead of like a door handle here of course you'd have this up here kind of integrated into that kind of turn that whole thing into like a black bit and then I continued the gro the grooves out and I think that's really the the whole thing <laughs> it's not much it would compete with the new GR Corolla which is coming out very soon like in like March the 31st so yay I l I'm going to love it okay thank you Toyota you're cool again <laughs> and competes with the type r of course if there was still a focus rs it would compete with that and the wrx even though that's not a hatchback and the golf r so yeah and i was a little bit worried it was it would be too like you know boy racer like the type r but i mean look at it the original was very much boy racer and kind of wild looking so I think I did a good job all right zoom in a little bit all right I hope you like this something a little bit different other than diecast content so yeah all right bye bye last look original and my new design all right bye